Hi, my name is Greg Glass. I'm the technical director at the University of Michigan Battery Lab. The Battery Lab is a facility here on campus where we help academic researchers and industrial users scale up their next generation lithium ion technology to a prototyping scale where they can make sure that what they think is going to work really well for sustainability and energy storage will actually do that in the real world. We're hearing about a lot about lithium ion batteries right now because of what their fundamental advantages are relative to other energy storage devices. When we are talking about storing energy, be it for powering our cell phone or our laptop or an electric vehicle, what we want is the most energy per volume or weight we possibly can. If we think about a vehicle, gasoline is, is really got a lot of energy per unit weight or volume, so we can go three, 400 miles on a gas tank. To be able to come anywhere near that range and, and that acceleration capability, we really need to be looking at lithium ion batteries because of just their fundamental characteristics of how much energy they can store, how much they weigh, how small they can be, which is also what makes them great for a cell phone that needs to fit in your pocket, for example. So right now we're hearing a lot about going green and driving electric vehicles, and that's absolutely a, a great idea. But something we need to think about when, when we think about the sustainability of electric vehicles is where is the electricity that's charging up this vehicle coming from? And does it really reduce the amount of pollution relative to driving an internal combustion engine? For example, in Southeast Michigan, a lot of our electricity comes from coal-fired plants. So if we're only driving a short distance and we're still charging up our batteries all of the time, maybe that's not more sustainable than using gasoline. Uh, another thing that we need to think about is where are the components for the batteries coming from? A lot of current generation lithium ion batteries use an element called cobalt. And the only place in the world, or one of the only places in the world that cobalt is currently mined is in the Congo in Africa. And their environmental practices and human rights practices are, are maybe not up to speed uh, relative to what we would think of as a sustainable approach to mining and labor relations. When we think about that, when we think about how do we recycle these batteries, what is second generation, all of that should be weighed when you decide whether a, an electric vehicle is in fact better than an internal combustion gasoline engine. When we talk about batteries and how that's going to impact sustainability both on an individual and a global scale, I think we need to consider that lithium ion is just one tool in a huge, huge chest of potential energy storage devices. Right now we're all familiar with alkaline batteries like we put in our TV remote at home and we're familiar with lead acid batteries like we use to start most of our internal combustion engines. And lithium ion is everywhere now too, from our cell phones to our laptop computers to the camera that's filming me right now. As we go forward, I think we're gonna see more and more uh, developments, research, and breakthroughs on how to store energy, both for personal use, for building use, for transportation. And we need to look at each of those because no one technology is going to be one size fits all. And some of them will probably be more sustainable sustainable than others. And as we develop those, those should be phased in and the more environmentally damaging, less sustainable solutions should be phased out or saved for those niche applications where they're the only tool that works.